we're going to start by making this, let's call it the H shape. Uh, I'm going to start with what I'll call the base, which is just the bottom of it. So from here to here and then up to here. First, I need to figure out my length. So how long is it? It is seven inches long. How wide is it? Well, I'm going to look at my right view for that. It is five inches wide. So I'm going to drag out a rectangle that is seven, no, five by seven then click enter now it's actually two inches tall so i need to make sure that this guy is two inches tall next i need to carve out this hole right here how wide is the hole well i'm going to look at my top view here i know from here to here is two and from here to here is three so the difference between here and here is three minus two so i know it is one wide how long is it well that's the distance between here and here i don't have a dimension there but i do know from here to here is seven and from here to here is four so from here to here must be the difference seven minus four is three so i know my hole is a three by one inch rectangle i'm going to drag a hole out here this guy is going to be three. It's already one inch wide. I'm going to highlight this and align it. Make sure it is centered. I also need to make sure this guy is too tall. And I need to align their right ends. Then I'm going to click on my hole, click D to drop it to the work plane, and then Control G to group it together. There, that's our base. Now the upright portion is how tall well it is five inches off the ground i already have two of those inches made up by the base so i just need a rectangle that goes up three inches right because five minus two gives us three from here to here is three and it's going to be as wide as uh, our base how thick is it it is two inches thick we're gonna drag this guy out Should too thick how wide is it? What is it three no how wide is this guy five five wide nah, how tall was it three two three three inches tall next I need to align these guys click L and make sure they are centered and then I'm going to make sure their left edges are lined up or are mashed together uh, just give it a quick visual everything looks good we're gonna group it together hopefully we don't have any weird seams and we don't it's perfect lastly we need to carve out this top hole how wide is that top hole well I don't have a, a dimension that tells me that specifically but I do know from here to here is four and then from here to here is one so the difference between here and here must be four minus one that gives me three uh, how tall is it well that's the distance between here and here that's four minus five so that's one so i have a three by one inch hole in the top and we're going to go ahead and center this guy make sure the tops are aligned and then i'm just going to make this guy long and push it into my object and we will group it come on and that's all she wrote